This is Miami All Access. Hi, Coach. Uh, bring in four early signees. Um, a lot of your seniors that are graduating are up front, four graduating forwards, and obviously that is kind of a big focus I anticipate out of your 2015 signing class. Yeah, I mean, uh, you have to replace the, the guys you're, you're losing. So uh, uh, we lose some top end forwards that, um, uh, you know, have produced for us over the course of their four years, and we have to replace them with quality players. And I think we've done that. Uh, uh, you know, the three guys that we have will fill a role, and they've been recruited to that role. And, and uh, you know, uh, as – a freshman uh, do every year. They've got to come in and be ready to go, and and uh, there'll be an adjustment period. But uh, we're happy with uh, with what we have. Uh, all three guys up front are guys that uh, uh, fit our culture and fit our, our our brotherhood and and the way we play and and the way we do things um, uh, off the ice as well. So uh, we're we're looking forward to it. What are some of those qualities, especially off the ice, to fit into that culture that? you notice that drew you to over to these four? Well, I think there's a lot of, a lot of things. Uh, we've been able to build a relationship with all four of them that uh, we feel comfortable with. They, they understand the accountability piece that uh, comes along with uh, being part of our program. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're good students. They work hard. Uh, they come from good families uh, with, with good uh, values and uh, instilled in them. And uh, we're going to try to continue to uh, enhance those values and, and uh, uh, be an extension of uh, what they've learned over the years and, and hopefully uh, mature them to not only become better hockey players but uh, better people and you know and, and that's part of what we do in, in the development phase so um, you know I think we're off to a good start with the guys that we have and you know again it'll be a, a fun time uh, developing them but uh, so, uh, a job that uh, everybody in our program takes seriously, including the players that are here right now. Next season's team will have Jay Williams and Ryan McKay, both as senior goalies with a lot of games under their belt. How do you see Evan McCarthy really fitting into that, given that kind of advantage or leg up and learning from guys with all the Well, that, that yeah, and that's, that's the reason why Evan's coming in. Uh, Evan is a very fundamentally sound goaltender. He's big, uh, uh, works extremely hard, uh, great kid. And uh, I think he'll be pushing the two guys to uh, to be on top of their game, and uh, and hopefully uh, when the time comes, he'll be ready to go and and um, and contribute. And I think, you know, we all think in our in our locker room, in our staff, coaches' room, I should say, that uh, he'll be one of those guys that uh, we'll be talking about in the future. Now, Jack's been a, a lead player over the last few years for the national team development program, and has really shined in big games internationally. How quickly, given that pedigree, do you anticipate him and expect him to be able to adjust to the, the college game? Well, Jack is an elite player, and there's no uh, mistaking that. He's, uh, he's got great vision on the ice. He skates well. He's, he can make plays. He can score goals. Um, uh, you know, he's, uh, I want to say, a homegrown talent uh, just down the road in, in, uh, in Columbus. So. Uh, we're excited to have Jack. He's he's the type of player that we uh, we need up front uh, to replace some of the guys that we're losing, and he'll be called upon to uh, to be uh, uh, to have a big role on our team next year. And uh, you know, I, I I know he'll be ready, and and he's excited, and we're excited uh, to have him uh, part of the family. Another guy who played before juniors with the Ohio Blue Jackets and is been making an impact with Youngstown, Kiefer Sherwood. Yep. Skilled guy, how do you expect him to fit in as a cog? Well, Kiefer's a goal scorer. He's, uh, he can skate, he can flat out fly and, and um, uh, cause uh, teams to, uh, to make mistakes because of his speed and, and he's got a great one-timer. And, um, you know, at, at Youngstown, he's been a part of the power play for a couple of years now. So. Um, whereas Jack is uh, a playmaker, maybe at at, uh, at you know at his best, um, Kiefer is a goal scorer at his best. So um, again, Kiefer is a homegrown talent in Ohio and Columbus, and uh, you know we're looking forward to having him too. He's uh, he'll be something. He'll be somebody that we're going to count on uh, to contribute offensively for sure. Let's talk about the 
progression over the last few years of Ryan Soroki, a guy who has a good amount of size and is showing a pretty good scoring touch over the last couple of years. Yeah, he's, you know, Ryan is, uh, Ryan's a power forward. He's going to play with energy for us. Um, he, he can skate. Um, he's a little bit older, uh, a little bit more mature. Um, he's a guy that's going to fit in real nice to what we're trying to, uh, the pieces we're trying to put together for, uh, for the future. So um, you got Jack, who's the playmaker, goal scorer. You got Kiefer, who's a goal scorer. And can, all three of them can skate. Ryan's more of a power forward type player. Um, so all three of the guys will play uh, big roles in our team. And, um, you know, we're extremely uh, excited to all three of them have joined our family. And uh, we can't wait to have them here and, and, uh, and be part of the brotherhood and, and uh, hopefully lead us to, um, you know, uh, whatever comes, uh, whether it's championships or, or whatnot. But, um, you know, we're excited to have them. All right. Thank you. Thanks.